Alrighty, hello everybody. We are back to Blasphemous for the first first time, the third time. We are 40% of the way through the game, so we're making steady progress. Last time we were about 25%. Uh, obviously, if anybody did happen to miss the last part, went all the way up here, all the way down here as well. There's a way to like zoom the map out, isn't there? That one, that one. There you go. So yeah, we cleared a whole bunch of the map, but obviously we opened this little bridge over here. And there's a door at the end, which took three bosses to open, and now we have to progress past that. And there was a very fun boss fight on this bridge. Time to smother ourselves in blood again. You know it. <laughs> yeah, this this door over here is opened. I don't look forward to what's on the other side of this door, given the boss fight that preceded it. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were going to push the door. We just slide right on in. Big <laughs> All right, let's see what the rest of the game has in store for us. I feel my blood turn into black sap, and my aged skin into reddish bark. Wait, is he doing the? Wait, we're actually inside of a tree. The door leads into a tree. Okay then, fair enough. I mean, put a door where you want, but into a tree is a little bit weird. This isn't like uh, Ocarina of Time over here. A sacred light stains the highest branches of the iron tree. Its brilliance penetrates its walls into the hall where she rests, shrouding my eyes in purple darkness. The hall. So someone's resting in a hall somewhere. Okay, we can't go left. We can only go. Uh, we can't go left. We can't go right. We can only go up. I'm guessing the vines everywhere will have something to do with this, given, you know, trees, vines, same thing. Maybe this is where we get the vine power up. Oh, there is a door with a... Oh, hey. The patio of the silent steps. Ah, oh, yeah, I love a good uh, patio, me. Do I want to talk to this guy? I mean, I guess I'll touch this and then get it over with. This guy talks for ten years. What do you want, cone boy? Giant cone... You know, I never really considered it, but he's actually really fucking big. Hey, Spree, how goes it, man? Those you have removed from punishment were Perpetua and Esdras. Okay. siblings who went on to be part of His Holiness Guard. Am I going to have to fight more people like them? It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. Ah, so he wasn't crazy. Or twisted are the paths of the miracle. Fair enough. He didn't actually talk for 10 years, which is a miracle. And uh, thank you for the like, Spree. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. Obviously, I don't imagine you'll respond, but hey, you know. <laughs> and also, thank you for the bits, hun, by the way. Watching Bosch. But an extra view is a measurable positive, positive metric. Exactly. Nothing wrong with lurking. And hey, Barry. Should I just call you Barry or Barry Bandit or Bandit? And hello, Romero as well. No lurking here. Yeah, lurking is banned. <laughs> How goes it, guys? Oh, what what room is this? Hall of Dawning. We're getting like 800 areas. Berry is fine. Good, good. This looks like a weird mirror. Can't seem to do anything with it at the moment. I'm guessing it's going to come in handy at some point. Acquired Quicksilver. Another item I can't... We've got two of these now. Am I supposed to know where to take these? Where's Stonky? She's here. I don't know if she's busy editing. But she is here. How, uh, how's everyone doing, though? What's everyone uh, got going on for the weekend? Obviously, it's Saturday. Saturday, uh, I mean, <laughs> used to be a case that Saturday used to be a busy day for me, and uh, Saturday is now just streamed it and, and chilled it and maybe a bit of editing and maybe a bit of work to be fair. I just do everything the same <laughs> to be fair. A weekend doesn't matter to me. It's the same as every other day. <laughs> On the sacred floor, I will be safe. They will hear neither my footsteps nor my fear. The miracle wanted the oranges from those trees to make no sound on falling, so that something the columns and buttresses could be heard. Now I hear only horrific screams of those punished by the miracle. I will wait patiently. So wait. I gotta be, like, quiet? What the fuck? Oh, do the oranges make it so I don't fall? Uh, no sound on falling, so I, I'm not allowed to make sound on falling. I do have a thing to do that. Uh, relaxing, getting ready for Mother's Day tomorrow. It always th throws me out 
when you guys over in the States are like, it's Mother's Day. I'm here like, what? Since when? It's not, it's not Mother's Day in England. So it always, it always throws me off. <laughs> right, we've got a, what is that? Like a voodoo doll? Are you an enemy? I'm guessing that, <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird enemy. He just runs away. You just run away and drop vines. Is that, is that your thing? Hit, hit, enough. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. Almost in the spikes. All right. Can I not kill these guys? Are they, like, invincible? Is that what's going on here? Can you... No, they do die. Okay. Didn't have a... Oh, do I not have my eye? I don't have my eye on. I can't see the health. Hold on. This menu... This menu infuriates me. There we go. Put my eye on. Eh. Got it. Another cherub. We'll find out what to do with those soon, I imagine. Same with the, uh... The quicksilver that we're getting. Okay, so we can... We can actually get rid of these guys. Am I going to defeat... Uh, am I going to go deathless this stream? Juffa. The, the eight ball may say yes, but we all know it's not going to be true. Uh, what does that say? Concentrate and ask again. Uh, excuse, excuse me, am I going to go deathless this stream? Mr. Eight Ball, can I have an answer? Ask again, Lid. It don't, it, it don't want to give you the truth. <laughs> Wife reminds you every year oh, about, um, yeah, Mother, Mother's Day. It just kind of shows up. My <laughs> my girlfriend usually reminds me. <laughs> oh, it's Mother's Day soon. I'm like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> it's really annoying though that we uh, have it on different days. It really it really does throw me. This is like the only way we can go. I can't get up there yet. We need some kind of extra climbing thing. It's a cop out. You thought eight balls were psychic? I think it's just because it doesn't want to hit me with the truth. Me and March. <laughs> Well, you got your mum for Mother's Day, wait, what? <laughs> Quick, to the shop! Ah, no, 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 we duff! Well, there's, there's your answer on the deathless situation. I slid into spikes myself. Such, such rude enemy placement, man. Just slip and slide right on in there. <laughs> Ow. And the second death, from sliding into a man's butthole. Hey. Buddy, are you gonna just fall off? Nope, you know, you're just gonna headbutt me. I thought he was gonna walk off then. I see 8-Ball again and see if it says insta no. Now 8-Ball, <laughs> will I go deathless this stream? Uh, signs point to yes. Um, well, at least someone has some optimism. <laughs> oh, dear. Wait, the enemy isn't even here now. The enemy, the enemy literally left. After it killed, after it made me end up sliding into the hole, it, it ran away. I think I think we need a new eight ball. We need to replace it. We need a new one. This one this one's full of lies. <laughs> we need two eight balls. The eight ball of lies and the eight ball of truth. Hey! Hit pottery! Oh, I have that now, right. I forgot about that. We have a new thunder spell instead of the fire one. I was thinking it was gonna be the fire one, I was gonna shoot it along, it was gonna be great. No, nope, lightning. Oh. <laughs> I guess the dead. No! No! Stupid cracked floors. Stupid cracked floors. I hate them. Can't go that way. Don't try even going that way. That's a bamboozle right there, boys. You don't want to go flying off into spikes. <laughs> Believe me, don't tickle. I know we have the cone. Oh, that's a, that's another cracky floor. <laughs> I hate how it breaks instantly. I can't, like, set it off. It just goes. You have to do the riddle. One eight ball always lies and one eight ball always tells the truth. Is that actually a riddle? Oh, loot. A bone? Is it a bone? It's the fibula of Risp the Ranger. Uh, Risp Scrimshaw was known for his reckless nightly walks in the woods. He said they helped him think about what was beyond, beyond even the high wills, and then he died. Rest in peace. Uh, when you were younger, you and your friend used to go to McDonald's car park, cruising to troller champs. <laughs> he had this ridiculous sound system in his car, and you pull up beside these twats player and gangster up and drown them out with 1812 Overture or Ride of the Valkyries. <laughs> I mean, it's better music. I, I ain't into none of that gangster rap. I'm, I'm like milk bottle white. I can't dance. Uh, and gangster rap, it, it just it just bounces right off me. <laughs> Alright, we can go that way to get over there. I, I vote we go left. 
Left led upwards, and upwards, I want to go up the tree. The one guy on the ground said something about a tree and oranges, so maybe the oranges are up here. Oh, we're just, we're just literally climbing up, huh? Where, are, where the hell is this leading me? Oh, I have to ladder jump? Okay, can I tennis this? No, no tennis. I can only tennis the balls that a boss throws at me, but not the regular ones. Uh, truth, 8-ball leads to a good place. Fl uh, lying 8-ball leads to a bad place. You can ask one question, how do you figure out which is which? Uh, are you the lying 8-ball? <laughs> They're both going to say no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ask it, will I die in Blasphemous? <laughs> ah, come back! Stop shooting from off screen, you coward. Come over here and fight me. Don't run off. Don't run away. Uh, let's see. What What would I... Wait, excuse me? Well, I can't get that. I guess we're going back down, boys. Hmm. What would I ask an 8-ball to figure out if it was lying? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's see. Let's see. What? what how do you figure out if someone's lying? With one question. Uh, hmm. I'm like, is the other eight ball lying? Are you lying? These these are all questions that would result in no, no progress. And also, uh, alone the year is uh, donating to the the bit total, the bit total, the the point total, which is for the extra stream of the week. Can both wait? You can ask both of them this this question, or do I do I ask them one question each? Or can I ask one question to one or one question to the other? You can ask both of them this question. I'm, I'm, I'm like... I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not good at figuring out lying. Same question, both of them answer. Am I cool? <laughs> there you go. The answer is really no. But the lying one will say yes to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> Does my butt look big in this? <laughs> Ow! Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take an answer on it. I'll I'll uh, phone a friend. I'll I'll get I'll get an answer on that one. I'm not good at riddles. I'm good at like logic puzzles, but riddles, riddles, riddles hurt me, man. My brain isn't isn't wrinkled enough to solve them. Hey, free loop. Olive seeds. Do they go to the uh, the guy over there? A handful of seeds carefully preserved. The stones of the olives were mashed into an oily... Ungent? Un an ungent? The hell is an ungent? Essential until the back of any healer. So we just out of town, we'll probably get some tears of... of leveling upness. Some tear juice. Don't think... I don't think they're actually gonna give us any useful... Um... No! Okay, it wasn't spikes. I'm, I'm this floor. This floor needs to stop. It really, it really needs to give up on undropping me. Do I want to jump for that? No, I did. Game. Oh, I'm just having a great adventure. No, just gonna fall into spikes. I wonder though. Can I hit that with lightning? Let's see. Come back down. Lightning. <laughs> Got you, bitch. <laughs> can't escape me. I can also shoot, can't I? I forget that I can also throw my weapon now. Uh, ask which road the other would say uh, they they have. That way the liar will say the opposite of the truth and the truth will actually... Uh, will say the actual liar's answer. The liar will say a bad place because the truth wouldn't say that. The truth will say a good place because the liar wouldn't say that. Huh? You lost me. Uh, ungent is a soft, greasy, or vicious... Viscous substance used as ointment awful lubrication <laughs> oh boy those guys in what's it called alba Al alboro what's it what, what are you called over here albero there you go i knew it was i knew it was like albert the town of albert we've also got a ropey tied up friend again penitent one heed my confession cowardice taketh root inside of me in the face of this new test by the grievous miracle don't worry dude i can help Who are we pilgrims if not sinners who have chosen wandering as the gentlest of penances. I just want to walk oh, forever. Back, cover my tears. So what's your problem? Penitent one. May they... 
you just walking? You don't want to keep walking though? You've, you've walked into a situation. You're, what the fuck is that, dude? All right, I get one man standing here being like, yo, man, I don't want to go that way. What the fuck is that thing? What is that? It shoots fire. What is this? Ah! What are you? Weird horsey thing? Stop, stop. Yeah. It bounces back. Stop, stop it. What the hell is this thing, man? <laughs> eh. Under the ball, no. Dude, this thing freaking hurts. I need fire resistance. Get the fire resistance on. The fire resistance will help. Where is it? We have lightning resistance or something, or do we just have defense? We don't need it. We, we need fire resistance to deal with the monster. No. Listen, buddy. You need to stop with this fire nonsense. Bad doggy. Alright, do I go talk to my old man now? He's like, yeah, I can go. The monstrous demon that was ahead is gone. Those screams filled my soul with fright. Thou hast purged my fears. There you go. This poor pilgrim again. We no worries. Different roads, but still, absolution awaits at the end of the path for thee and this sinner. Wherever it is, near or far, in this life or on the other side of the dream, we helped our old man. The heart, Penton One. Am I gonna get another toe? The big toe made of limestone. Dude, we're gonna have a whole foot by the end of this. Hey, my bot's working properly. It looks absolutely messy. Beautiful. Also, hello there, Petite. You had a huge sleep, then a weird dream, and you can't remember how it was. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what does this big toe do? We have how many? We've got the fourth toe, the little toe, and the big toe. Am I real? Am I just gonna get a whole foot from this guy? A toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. This strong big toe left its mark on the secret routes. Adds extra thrust while in the air. Wait, so I get like an extra attack in the air? Is that is that what is is that what it's telling me? Is that what's happening? What what do you mean an extra thrust in the air? I don't I don't understand. It's not like an extra jump. I don't I don't get it, dude. Don't understand what it's telling me. It's definitely something. Oh we're back to the floating pops. Sweet. I have socials now? I always did. My bot just didn't want to tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you, I guess. His toe gives him extra thrust. Exactly, his toe. It, this long, extended, thick digit. <laughs> Could not be confused with anything else that gives more thrust. <laughs> Can I just, like, hit these from the ground? No, I'm actually doing it right. Okay. Is this toe helping me in this situation? I don't know. Just, 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 just bully him. My YouTube link is broken? Well, shit. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have to work on fixing that. It is, a, it's all a work in progress, you know, it's all a work in progress. What of us? <laughs> Am I going from like 800, what? We're going from like 800 areas over here. We've got the Hall of Dawning, Patio of the Silent Steps, Mother of Mothers, and then not of the three words. What the heck is going on? These areas are either really tiny or very tall. What? He stood up. I didn't realize he was wearing booty shorts made of rope. And someone's not all over this tree for some reason. That's nasty, man. What's going on? The knot of the three words. Here is where the first miracle took place. One devout and tormented youngster asked the high will for punishment. He placed a wooden log where he sat and prayed. He prayed, hoping to be heard. And then he turned into a tree? He prayed for pain, so he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then, the miracle manifested itself. My dude turned into a tree. It made roots grow and twists <laughs> over his arms and legs, but not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. Um... <laughs> My dude's a tree. My dude became a tree like the other guy. Great. Hey, uh, I've done something bad. I, 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 I stole a jelly bean. Uh, please forgive me. Bomb! You're a tree now. Every inhabitant of this land bore 
witness to it. And all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This Is this Lennon? tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Words. For three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt. He... Every year from its core flows a golden burning liquid perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us. So it's not... okay. It just, just spews out gold and burning goop. Lovely! For twisted are, were, and will be the paths of the miracle. That's fucked up, dude. The miracle turned that man into a tree. <laughs> hey, Blue, welcome in, buddy. How goes it? Uh, need to do something about that YouTube channel? Oh, it's for the wrong channel. <laughs> it's for my vods. It was supposed to be the other one. I, I cocked it. My B, I do need, I will fix it. I'll probably fix it post stream because uh, opening the bot thing and it freaking out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll touch it later. There is, it should be a link also in the about section. What, what am I going to play after this? Undecided, depends on how the point things go and how fast I get the game beaten. I think Prey is going to be free on Epic. Is, which one's Prey? I mean, I don't use Epic myself, but which, which game is Prey? I, the name sounds familiar. Uh, Telling that is the OG. He renamed the first one to two. Yeah. They, Romero calling me out. It is That is the original channel and I made a new one for edited videos. And the edited videos is the one I'm supposed to be sharing. <laughs> but I'm stupid. Uh, Wait. That's just that little area. Oh, fair enough. It's like a Black Egg Temple situation. It's a tiny ass area. We're going to have to go back to that tree. We're going to have to fight a tree boss of some kind. I can feel it. What are these doing? Do I... Do these hurt me if I touch them? Whoa. Hey, Umberto! Thank you for the raid, buddy! Very much appreciated. Welcome in every... Ah! Don't walk and, and look at chat. <laughs> you walk into weird lamps. It's a bad idea. How was uh, Kindred Traits? And can we get a shout-out? It's uh, exclamation SO or exclamation shout-out. Just because it's been a while. It is Cornhead. It's the Cornhead time. How was Kindred Traits? Because I saw you were... Uh, Checking it out, but I didn't have time to stop by. I saw it just as I was going to be uh, sorting my stuff. Ah! What the heck is it's it's a me? Excuse me. We're fighting clones now. Welcome in delirium. I obviously know you from uh, Umberto's stream. We are having fun here. We just saw a, ma a boy that turned into a tree for some for for not very many reasons other than he was guilty and. Some almighty power turned him into a tree. <laughs> oh, this is just this is just beautiful. You can't get me, dude. Height advantage. Kinderfits was great. The new monster will be in the game later today, so you go live again later. Oh, is it just was the patch not out yet? It, he's he's weird. Ah, run, dude. These things are weird and freaky, man. Don't really know what praise, but it looks cool. Is is. Is, is Prey the game that's made by... Was it a Bethesda game or... I have no idea if that's the one I'm thinking of. It's partially out. You only see you only see half of the uh, the Kindred Fates monster. You only see his legs. What's uh, what's an Izuino? Where's the first person shooter video game? Yeah, it is that Bethesda one. It's the one where you turn them into like... You make them white. I know that game, kind of. So this is there's a video where people are using the TTS on Twitch to broadcast commands for Google. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like that can lead somewhere real quick, real bad. <laughs> or real bad, real quick. We don't want bellheads. Excuse me, the cone is the only way, sir. You need to cease. Also, I'm just going to do this because it didn't. I can't. Eh, eh. I'm being professional. <laughs> professional streamer. Let me shout out Umberto for the red. There we go. Beautiful. If you don't know who Umberto is, he plays Coromon. He's playing more stuff now. He played a bit of Hollow Knight. Loves Kindred Fates. Pretty sure he'd marry Kindred Fates if he could. <laughs> Chill guy. Good humours. 
good times, and I'm usually there half the time. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't, go check him out. Set an alarm for 3 a.m. and it broadcasts for the streamer and all of you, including any lurkers. Oh, okay, so it's like a, like a, whatchamacallit? It's like a, what was it, Alexa situation. Also, I have no idea where exactly we're actually supposed to be going. We, we ran into the, we ran into the tree. The man tells us this tree was a child who got turned into wood and then goo came out of him. No, not, oh, go to the right, you know, go here, go there. We have found an elevator. What, up or down? Elevator, down, oh boy. Going up in an elevator always, always makes me happy. Going down in an elevator, never a good sign. Usually leads to sadness. Your PC did a blue screen, oh no. Awkward, also works on Alexa. See, I'm not fancy, so I don't have an Alexa or a Google thing or anything like that. I am, I live the cheap life. <laughs> Uh, you only use Epic Games for free games. You've got GTA 5, Remnant, and other cool games. I I usually go with Humble Monthly for my stuff. Or like little extras. But most of the time I just buy stuff on Steam sales anyway. I mean, obviously the difference is it's free, but... Given the early issues with Epic, I don't I don't use it. What is... What is that? Is that a face? Well, not anymore. What are we... Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, what? Eh! Eh! Oh, they don't die, they come back. The TTS definitely works on Alexa. Uh, Alexa dots and Google phones. My phone, my phone, <laughs> my phone is old. <laughs> my phone's a Sony <laughs> as well. <laughs> Outplayed. Going to go, your daughter likes uh, taking peeks at your screen. This game is a bit bloody. No worries, Delirium. Or, or you get called Ghost as well, right? I can't remember which one I'm supposed to call you, but no worries, bud. Completely understand that. All right, we can go left or right. I think going left is the good idea. We'll go under the area we've already been to, but I'm not a fan of enemies that don't die. There's always something wrong with enemies that don't stay dead, you know? Ghost is all good? Cool, I'll, I'll try and remember that. I have the memory of a grape. It doesn't... Whee! Ah! <laughs> good shot, but also screw you, dude. See you, Delirium. Oh, Ghost. God damn it. Here I go again, see? No, 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 no. No anchors, please. Oh, and you also roll. Dude, this thing is tanky. Am I supposed to be here yet? What the heck? He's beefy. Dude, you better give me, like, a whole ton of stuff. I don't, I don't feel like he gave me that many tears, right? Just gently do it. Don't know what's going- Whee! Okay, that's what's going on with those balls. Are we like on a, on a boat? Is there a boat going- What? Why is there a boat? I mean, I guess the anchors make sense now. Wait, did I get extra healing back? I swear I used one of these, right? I didn't see a statue. Did he- When I killed him, did he give me healing? I mean, hey, if that's the reason to kill him, I'm gonna kill him. They take 10 years to die, but- uh, That's fine. Come on, come on, roll. At least they're easy to kind of deal with. No, he didn't give me extra... He didn't give me an extra healing juice. Why did I get an extra healing thing? I... I should... I, I used one, right? So I should have been on four, but I have... I had five. You can't jump, right? No. Okay, cool. Ah! These lightning balls are uh, a doozy. Do I have lightning resistance on? No. I have the toe. I'll take the toe off and put the lightning resistance on, given how much lightning there is. Is that lightning? You lightning resistance? Ah, the weird, like, roll-up. The fruit roll-up is, uh, <laughs> lightning resistance. Seven-year-old is quite insistent on making you- Hey! Alright, hold on. <laughs> hold on, you. It's quite insistent on making you invade people in Elden Ring, but ask you to tell the blood. Makes sense. I mean, when I was seven, I- I mean, even now, I don't- I don't like blood blood. I don't like real-life blood. I don't mind video game blood. Video game blood's fine. I mean, <laughs> really, oh, don't jump. Eh, lightning everywhere. Bad, bad times. But yeah, video game blood doesn't bother me. But as a kid, it used to freak me out, man. I had to return. I don't. It was probably like Grand Theft Auto 2. We had to return it to. Uh, I think we bought it from Blockbuster. 
Because uh, the people being dead and bleeding made me sad and cry. <laughs> and I was like 10. <laughs> I was a... Oh, boy, we're sludgy. <laughs> Go! Get me out of the sludge! Secrets? No secrets? You want to watch you play Bloodborne and you're like, ah, no. I wish I could play Bloodborne, dude. Ooh! Yeah, I'm not... This, this place, not fun. Jump! <laughs> Young man, please. Halt. Ah. No, no, no! <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> what? Ah. <laughs> well, he got me. <laughs> oh, wait, I touched that in here. Okay. Uh, thought 10 year olds love blood and violence, the media told you so. Maybe nowadays, kids are ever changing, you know? But when I was a kid, I was, I was a sensitive child. I, uh, I grew up with age appropriate things. And, hey, move. And, hey, yeah. Just, just go, just go. We'll get our stuff back and we'll retain as much stuff as we can. Damn lightning balls. Yeah, my girlfriend, don't reach and try and jump into lightning balls. Uh, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, 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 I hate this place, go. Can I go, can I go down now? Just give it a moment. But yeah, um, yeah, my girlfriend has a, has a, a Jason Voorhees tattoo. No, <laughs> no, she actually just has Jason Voorhees growing up. Freaking up, stop. Why did I heal her? Why did I, why did I decide to do these dumb things? Yeah, this, this place, this place isn't fun. Age appropriate meant you can, uh, can I st uh, stay awake late enough? Dude, bedtimes? Bedtimes suck, man. I used to just stay up anyway. Like, by the time I got to being a teenager, I was like, oh, school, I have that tomorrow? Well, I don't like that, so allow me to stay up and watch, like, zombie movies. <laughs> Just like have the TV on quiet or plug in earphones. <laughs> Ow! Dick. I hate this. I hate these lion headed fools with the frickin' anchors, man. I also have no healing again. There better be like another statue around here. I definitely. I'm, I am really feeling that we've walked into the wrong place. Like, this is not the place we should be right now. <laughs> uh. Uh, careful about you let him watch. Uh, you don't let him watch junk on his own, so if he hears bad words or sees uh, weird things, we have a conversation about language or about weird things. Parenting done right, though. Watched a uh, Red Panda movie. Uh, what's it called? What's, I, I, it's the new one, isn't it? That people were all talking about like a month ago. Uh, hello, can I help you? Deep. Oh, that's got homing on it. Oh, and she shoots. Jesus! Turning red. There you go, seeing red. Get yeah, close enough. <laughs> Didn't have bedtime, just went to bed when you were tired and got up for school uh, when you had to. Also, yeah. You 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 had the, the less strict I mean my my mum's a funny one. She she is the, the sensitive one in the family. Like she's just sensitive to like everything. She cries watching TV, even if it's something not even that sad. Um and and yeah, she's a, she's a funny one. The uh, reason for bringing this up is she started watching the Cornetto trilogy. It was on television uh, like a, a couple of weeks back. And you know, we, we all love the Cornetto trilogy here. And if you don't, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. The World's End's the weakest of the three, but don't at me. Anyway, <laughs> she, she watched Hot Fuzz. Uh, she's watched Hot Fuzz before, and, you know, she likes Hot Fuzz. And she's like, you know, Shaun of the Dead gonna watch that. <laughs> and I tell her, I warn her, I'm, I'm like, look, there's gonna be a part in the film, and you're really gonna not like it. And I had the, the, <laughs> the best situation, I had to go down to, like, grab some food or something. And it was exactly at the scene where, I think his name's Will, the one with the glasses, gets pulled out the window in the bar. Spoilers, by the way, if you didn't watch a movie from, like, 15 years ago, but... She's like, oh no! 
Oh, it's so gross! Oh, no. He's getting pulled out the window and his organs are being ripped out. It's so freaking funny. <laughs> oh, did that enemy's health stay low? What's the deal with this? What's this? No. Oh, you, you do hit hard, but... Lightning didn't hit. It didn't hit. didn't go across. It didn't hit. Okay, Lightning, you suck. Officially, you suck, Lightning. Ooh. No. Let me go. Let me out of the way. This, this enemy is going to ruin my life. Run, run, run off the screen. Why not? Zombie film Mangus in by zombie. Too much of a spoiler. I don't know, man. I mean, obviously people are going to get eaten, but you don't know if they're going to die. Oh, you know. Um, you had open access to the internet since you was, well, since you were born, but you had to sneak downstairs to get out of bedtime. Got to do the old sneaky sneak. Uh, the very film world allegory to puberty. You didn't want to push it on him because you're as woke as a 90 year old multi war veteran. <laughs> uh, that's fair. I have I have no idea about the movie. You you still get health. But can I reflect these or something? No. I don't think we're going this way. <laughs> no, please, 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 please. How are you supposed to avoid these balls, man? I'm going back. I'm heading. I'm taking us back. I have to try and figure out how to get across this nonsense. I have to go up there, right? Just alley you. Nope. Alley, nope. Yeah, this this area seems bad. We'll go to the right instead. Five years ago, you were family in the center. You haven't changed, but now you're, you're the worst person. <laughs> you're the worst person onto humankind. It's 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 very interesting how the how the world has changed. And how people's sort of sensibilities and, and politics-wise have changed. Fuck! My face! Don't don't fuck my face. Don't do that. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good on that side of it. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're just on a journey to try and get our stuff back. We're just trying to work it all back. We're trying to get down and around. <laughs> Go away! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me, guys. <laughs> I ain't kidding. Don't touch me. Oh, that, we got our health back. We got our guilt fragment back. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going somewhere nicer. I don't know if I need more, like, defense. If I can get my healing thing upgraded and that'll help more. I'm not sure how to manage this area. <laughs> but I feel like we're underpowered for it. I'm not sure what I need to get past everything, but it, it, feel, it feels very much like I'm not supposed to be here and I've walked into, like, the wrong neighborhood, you know? So we'll just, we'll just wander back out again. Uh, everything's so sensitive, you become phobic on something for having a different opinion. Yep. I think... I mean, I, I don't particularly care about... Like how people perceive me, like you can make your own judgment on on everything. I may be right on some things, I may be wrong on some things, whatever. But um It's it's very much a case of As I've like gotten older, I care less and less. And so I'm just like, I'll say my part, and if people want to like throw stuff at me, I don't care. <laughs> Call me whatever, it's all it's lost most of its meaning, you know? The main thing is that you know that you're not those things. I don't think many people talk to the far right, to be fair. <laughs> um, and rumor is a <laughs> Marxist communist multicultural fencer at the same time. <laughs> yeah, if you, depending on who you talk to, you get labeled on different things. It's 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 very interesting. The fun thing is most people like aren't particularly politically charged, I guess. And on top of that, most people really don't care that much. Like the the main thing, especially once you start working and have other sort of parts of your life going on, it's it's very much a case if you care less and sort of don't manage as much of the political landscape as far as all the little micro elements of everything. Like, I, I was more political when I was a bit young because I had more free time. And so I'd be interested. And there was a lot of it going around, especially with, like, being in college and whatnot. Uh, hello? Oh. 
we'll, we'll get back to this conversation after this cutscene with a foot and some flowery legs. Uh, can I help you? Are we just hanging out? Are you my waifu? What's, what's happening here? Faceless warrior, stay thy course. I sense a heavy burden within thee, although I can neither see thy face nor hear thy voice. It's called wearing a mask and not talking. It's not hard. <laughs> my manners. My name is Miriam. Hello, Miriam. This place of crimson shadows has summoned me. Something in this suffering land, a will that eludes my understanding, decided that I alter the course of my journey and brought me to this place. And if it has sanctioned this meeting, it must be because we are being put to the test, destined to mutually help one another under its watchful gaze. I'm guessing you want this whole shard situation fixing. Do I have to find like little shards of glass to put it back together? This crystal that lies before us. It's a crystal. Is what, what allows me to travel to distant lands? You travel through crystals. What the? F what? How the hell does that work? But, as you can see, it is cracked, and its magic extinguished. To restore it, I must find the shards that are scattered throughout your world. Oh well, time to go and collect things. Thank you. Allow me to show you one of them. It lies beyond this door. <laughs> oh yeah, boy, she's gonna show me a crystal. Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I'm actually being taken. Help! Help! I can't control my legs! I'm being stolen, guys! This what the? Is one help? of the portals of the Blue Rose that guard each and every one of the crystal shards. The force of its magic will not allow me to enter. Pray, help me, anonymous warrior. Enter in my stead and retrieve the shards. I bet she can go in and she's just being lazy. I must return to my kingdom and I must not tarry. Okie dokes. Well, we got a crystal portal to go in of some kind. Looks very ominous. Looks like we'd probably die by touching it, but hey, uh, what have I missed? Literally going through your laptop, the window needs to stop going black screen refreshing and everything and freezing. I mean, we could always try getting it taken back to have it looked at. I mean, obviously I've been going without your laptop for a few days, but we can see about getting that looked at if it's being a problem. Um, you know, when you go a uh, bit some militant atheists on Discord, but would you talk to the Batman vs Superman Luther who can't get a basic quote right, dude? Batman v Superman Lex Luthor is it's quite something. I wonder if they're ever going to go back to that at all. Because they were setting up a sequel and then they were just like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> so, because that movie was awful. <laughs> and Spree likes Batman v Superman. Why? You're a Batman fan by default. Frank Miller. Is Frank Miller Gotham Knight Batman? Fair. Uh, when you type your community discord, you will need to use your legacy alt because your main account has a history of shitposting. Fair. I, I just use my main account and I just talk nonsense because that's my life. <laughs> Don't think you would bother going through everything you said for that. Would be easier to just delete everything and live on a mountain. Fair. I, I, if, if I had the option, I would go live on a mountain or on an island, just away from people, you know. Let's see what's behind this and then I'll continue the, the discussion of what I was going to say about college. See what's in here first. Is it a boss fight? Is it a platforming challenge? What is... I have a timer! Okay, time to go! Oh, okay, we have breaking crystal platforms. And someone playing the... Spanish guitar. They're doing the, the weird finger flicky thing. Which I have no idea of how to do, but it sounds awesome. Just, just, just go fast! We have no time to think, we just gotta go fast. These fall back out. Yep, they move. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on. Yep. Yep. So it's just a time attack challenge. Can we? Oh, we can actually die, though. <laughs> Exciting. Beautiful. Love. Would love falling into the... Uh, oh, we're going down. Good. What's, what's down here? Down there. Where are we going? Platform. You need to really go faster. I'm on a, <laughs> I'm on a bit of a time schedule here, you know? Huh. Uh, beautiful. You can't beat me with none of this. I've beaten the White Palace in Hollow Knight game. I know what I'm going into. <laughs> you can't defeat me with this ladder jumping. Whoop! Where am I going? 
That way. Go, 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 go. I'm fast enough. I did it. In one second left. One second left on the timer, but we got the crystal. Now Neocortex will be satisfied. Oh, that's a that's a big chunk. There's probably only like, what, five of these? Four of these? Huh. Okay, that's not too bad. Look. The portal of the blue rose has closed. Oh, I'll never get to go back in again. The shard has returned and the crystal is reforming. I beg thee, help me retrieve the remaining shards. Do I have to? <laughs> that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that wasn't that bad. That was that was fine. Uh, let's see. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Need to scrap the DCU now. Their entire cast, apart from the King of the Nerds, seems to have been cancelled. King of the Nerds. It's King of the Nerds. Uh, Henry Cavill. Is Jason Momoa cancelled as well? I have no idea. Gal Gadot cancelled. Ezra Miller cancelled. <laughs> Amber's cancelled. Yeah, Ezra hasn't been cancelled yet, but like. He's out here assaulting all these people. Henry Cavill is our king. What, because he builds PCs and he's a fucking goob? <laughs> but yeah, uh, what I was saying beforehand, just to jump back to it, because I completely just jumped out of sidetrack. Yeah, back in college, um, obviously being around a bunch of college-aged people, they're all uh, somewhat politically minded and... Uh, it, it was a case of like, the, world, the people are really weird about stuff. So it's like my my personal uh, view on everything is is it comes from an egalitarian point of view. You know, everyone should be equal, no extra benefits and stuff. Just just everyone should be even, have even rights, e equal opportunities, that sort of shit. You know, easy peasy. And that that's not good enough for people apparently. And so this this group was like, no, nah, you can't hang out with us. You, you're not allowed. You d you don't a hundred percent believe in the same thing we do. Get out. <laughs> it's like <"W> what? <laughs> it's like my dude, <laughs> my my dude. What? <laughs> it's so bizarre. Build PCs, collect some paints. 40k. Nice. Has an army. <laughs> Is Superman, girl, and will probably be Eisenhorn. Who's Eisenhorn? Man, I really need to get more healing. Help! I have to use all my flesh to fill up my health bar. There's got to be someone who can help us with this. When everyone's cancelled, can we just default to no one being cancelled? <laughs> we, we can default to uh, that when I've been cancelled. Uh, it'll probably happen by next week. <laughs> oh, the, ow! Stupid lamp! No, 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 no! Shove off! Can I parry you? I feel like I can probably parry that, right? I'm getting my anus torn asunder by every enemy that shows up. It's not fun. Right, we're gonna try and parry this guy. He's gonna run up to me. Parry! Beautiful, we can parry them. Just keep parrying. Ah, okay, there was just loot. Probably like the top on of, of Dave. We got the Consecrated Amethyst. It's an item we put on. A gem that gives off an intense aroma of incense. In the Mother of Mothers, the ornate incense burners were filled with precious gems and beads. Consecrating them with their vapors, this amethyst comes from the greatest of them all, and its blessing gives the wearer great protection against magical attacks. Okay, so it's like a better thing than the other one. We have another magic attack blocking item. That will probably come in handy if we can find a lightning wand for down the bottom. Uh... Excuse me, I ain't reading that. <laughs> I ain't reading that. <laughs> I ain't reading no post about Riza. What the fuck? <laughs> that, that's how that's that's how you get Bell. Help! Oh, there's like a lot of it. Just go down the ladder. Just go down the ladder. Just pretend. Am I denying that Henry Cavill is my king? I mean, I like Warhammer. I like building computers. Does that make him my king? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Whoop. We're just narrowly getting by, not getting hit, and I don't have. I don't. I don't have the health for this situation. We need more health. I need more healing items. I don't know if we have one of those. You all right, there, buddy? He's found a statue, I guess. 
Are you, are you gonna be like a boss fight? Is something gonna happen here? What's going on? Oh, my sins. It's a long journey filled with reflection, not enough. How is he crying and talking at the same time? It's very strange, dude. What of the calluses on the feet, the cramps in the legs, the thirst, the forehead scorched by a sun that seemeth never to set? And what about the torturing of the mind when guilt pierceth our hearts time after time? I wish what I knew what this guy was talking about. What do ye want, O oh sins of mine? What happened? Why are you crying? Why is he just in here cry? Is this just- is this the statue? What, what's going on? Thou art before the first pilgrim, the first of the barefoot rule, master of all errant sinners. Okay. This old limestone statue was erected where the pilgrimage of the master ended, where he took his last step. It was then that the miracle carried him in its arms so he could continue his path on the road of the old processions. Wait, so he cheated? He walked up to here and then the miracle carried him? Or do you mean he died? What? Which, which one? If he died here, then you're doing better, but like, you're doing better than him. There is also a hole behind that statue, I see it. There's a hole back there. We can probably move the statue and this guy can go this way, probably. It's can I move this somehow? Is there a switch? There's something odd about this. Look, right, right here. There's a hole. It's a hole back there. Barefoot master, what else does thou want from me? <laughs> Alright, dude, you can- you stay here. I'll fix the situation, you can go. Uh, you watch the newest Candyman Best of the Slasher reboots? I'm trying to think, what, what slashes have been rebooted? You know, my girlfriend will know. But, uh... We, we watched Candyman, or at least I partially watched Candy Candyman. I don't remember if I actively watched it or if I was just kind of... Ah, I got shanked, damn it. But, um... Original Candyman was alright. I, I have no idea about the... Oh, why am I down here? Because this, this is probably the closest one, isn't it, actually, from where we were. Yeah, there's, there's no closer one. No. I don't want to... I don't want to be down here. Not yet. I need to find this alchemist person who's gonna boost my my things. What happens if I go? To, oh, I can't move. If you like the rest of the series, wait, there's a series of Candyman. Is it? I thought there was just one. It's a reboot, quill like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. Did you? I don't know if my girlfriend watched that one. I haven't. Was that the one with the bus and the phone? I, I, I don't know enough about horror, but my girlfriend is the resident expert. <laughs> well, at least you two can agree that it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I, um... I get introduced to horror through her. Before, before we, like, dated, I barely watched horror. Like, the odd zombie movie, and that's about it. We've watched all of the uh, th Friday the 13th. I only kind of watched the first one with you. What? Um, Candyman? Lothos becomes the good guy and anti-hero. <laughs> Fair. All I know is the scene on the bus. Really, for that? <laughs> because my girlfriend's like, look at this. What is this? But I thought I thought that was something else for, for a, a period of time. I don't, I don't get why it's so hard to do like a, a good reboot of a classic movie because the like frameworks laid out for you you have all of the pieces of the puzzle you don't have to come up with anything like major so it's, it's just weird that nothing better comes of these things can you stop stabbing me my dude really not appreciated. I'm trying to explore. We died in this room. Did we go over this way? We went over this way. That was where the crying man was. But they want to make their own take on it. It's, yeah, but like, it's not, it's not hard to do your own take on something and make it good. Rob Zombie's, um, Halloween is freaking great, the first one. And hello, Tats, I see you there. What'd that head do? 
You want to know what the, you don't want to know where this head goes, Tex. You take off the helmet, you insert it into your ass, and it gives you the same feeling of playing blasphemous. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead. Re I think I've seen the Dawn of the Dead remake. I don't. I is that the one we said? We yeah, that's the one I said I watched. Okay. <laughs> I look at my girlfriend. She nods. This that's the sign. How goes it, taters? Sorry, but Rob Zombie's Halloween is absolutely shit. It's shameful. 